two Arleigh Burke class destroyers, the USS Spruance and the USS Preble, conducted a freedom of navigation operation on the 11th of February. They sailed within 12 nautical miles of Chinese occupied Spratly Islands. China claims almost all of the South China Sea and is trying to establish de facto control of the waters. It wants all ships and aircraft navigating in the area to identify itself to the Chinese Navy. Vietnam, Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei and Taiwan also have claim on these waters, but China has outmuscled them and set up military infrastructure in the many islands including the Spratly Islands. The South China Sea route is significant as about $5 trillion in trade and almost 50% of the world's oil shipment passes through it each year. The waters are also thought to have 11 billion barrels of untapped oil and 190 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. Countries like the US, Japan and India have no claims in the area and want freedom of navigation as per international maritime laws. Commander Clay Doss, a US Navy 7th Fleet spokesman, told CNN that the purpose was to challenge excessive maritime claims and preserve access to the waterways as well as to show that the US will fly, sail and operate wherever international law allows. Viewers may note that the US conducts freedom of navigation operations regularly. As usual, Beijing is reacted to the operation in a sharp manner. As reported by South China Morning Post, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Hua Shunying accused the US of entering Chinese waters without permission and engaging in provocations that threaten China's sovereignty. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why China should fear USS Spruance and USS Preble. Let's get started. USS Spruance DDG-111 and the USS Preble DDG-88 are Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyers of the US Navy. Arleigh Burke class warships were designed as multi-mission destroyers capable of anti-aircraft warfare AAW, anti-submarine warfare ASW, and anti-surface warfare ASUW. The class is named for Admiral Arleigh Burke who was an American destroyer officer in World War II and went to be Chief of Naval Operations. US Navy has 66 Arleigh Burke class warships in active service. USS Spruance was named after Raymond A. Spruance, a US Navy Admiral. It was built by Bath Ironworks and commissioned on the 1st of October 2011. USS Preble was named for Commodore Edward Preble who served in the American Revolutionary War. It was built by Ingalls Shipbuilding and was commissioned on the 9th of November 2002. USS Spruance and USS Preble, being Arleigh Burke class destroyers, are among the largest destroyers built in the United States. Both have an overall length of 509 feet, 155 meters, and a displacement of about 9,200 tons. USS Spruance and USS Preble are powered by four General Electric LM2500 30 gas turbines producing 100,000 horsepower. 75 megawatts that drive two shafts. They have a speed of 30 plus knots, that's 55 kilometers per hour, and a range of 4,400 nautical miles or 8,100 kilometers. The Arleigh Burke class of guided missile destroyers DDGs, is the United States Navy's first class of destroyers built around the Aegis combat system. The Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System is a United States Department of Defense Missile Defense Agency program developed to provide missile defense against short to intermediate range ballistic missiles. Aegis BMD is designed to intercept ballistic missiles post boost phase and prior to re-entry. It enables USS Spruance and USS Preble to shoot down enemy ballistic missiles by expanding the Aegis combat system with the addition of the ANSPY-1 radar and standard missile technologies. 
Aegis BMD equipped vessels can transmit their target detection information to other systems and, if needed, engage potential threats using either the SM-2 or SM-3 missile. SM-3 missile having a range of 2,500 kilometers and a speed of Mach 10.2 is especially suited for this task. The heart of the Aegis system on board the USS Spruance and USS Preble is the ANSPY-1 radar. It's an advanced automatic detect and track multifunctional phased array radar. This high-powered 4 megawatt radar is able to perform search, track and missile guidance functions simultaneously with a capability of over 100 targets. A conventional mechanically rotating radar sees a target when the radar beam strikes that target once during each 360 degree rotation of the antenna. A separate tracking radar is then required to engage each target. By contrast, the computer-controlled ANSPY-1A phased array radar of the Aegis system brings these functions together within one system. The phased array can concentrate energy where it's needed. The operator can boost the range and resolution in a particular direction without blinding the ship to threats from another side. The four fixed arrays of SPY send out beams of electromagnetic energy in all directions simultaneously, continuously providing a search and tracking capability for hundreds of targets at the same time. USS Spruance and USS Preble are very well equipped and are designed to be multi-weapons platforms. They have in total 96-cell Mark 41 vertical launch system VLS, divided into two blocks of 32 and 64 cells. These can be configured with the combination of the following weapons based on mission. 1. BGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missile for land attack. 2. RIM-66 Standard Missile 2 SM-2 Surface-to-Air Missile for Air Defense 3. RIM-161 Standard Missile 3 SM-3 for Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense They also have two Mark 141 Harpoon Missile Launchers for Anti-Ship Roll. Two Mark 32 Triple Torpedo Tubes are present launching Mark 46 or Mark 50 Torpedoes. Two MH-60R Seahawk Lamps III helicopters are also present for anti-submarine warfare. Other than these, they are equipped with a long-range 5-inch naval gun. There are multiple short-range weapon systems which include the Phalanx CIWS and M242 Bushmaster Cannon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.